This is probably one of the most exciting days ever because the delivery guy has been and it's EP1 delivery day. This is 2,500 EP1s that have been sent from PCBWay. I am so excited for this. We have got a busy week ahead of us uh, testing and flashing all of these boards. So as you can see, there is an absolute mountain to get through. They've all came in. So there is, in each of these little slots, there is two boards per slot. So this is 2,500 boards and they all come in these little anti-static bags from PCBWay. PCBWay have done an absolutely insane job of delivering all of these boards. So yeah, really happy with them. And I can't wait to start shipping them out to you. So what we are doing today is we are grabbing every single board and we've got our little test or flash board that uh, literally just clips on to the top. So it literally just pushes together like that. And then as soon as this board is connected, all of the LEDs will light up in sequence and it tests all of the sort of different GPIOs and different sensors. And then we know that the board is good. And then it will actually flash on the production firmware that you guys will use uh, when you get your board. So I am so excited. We've got 2,500 boards to actually get through. So let's get started. Some of the other exciting bits that we have already received inside of this box should be our 3D printed cases. So there they are. There's some of the, the front panels for the 3D printed cases. So we've got another box through there that's got all of the stands and all of the, uh, the other components that go into the case. But these are the front panels. They look actually really good, really good finish on those. So this is about half of the cases that we have so far. We have another shipment arriving soon. So yeah, that is really cool. That is the cases that will also be arriving with your order if you ordered the cases. And then in this box is also something really cool. This is the motion sensor. So these are the Panasonic industrial PIRs that we're using. This is 1000 PIRs. So let's have a look in this box. So there should be, I think, 50 inside of this box. Hey, so that is what 50 PIRs looks like. So yeah, we have 1,000 in this box and then we have a further 1,500 in another box through there, same as this. So yeah, this is 50 PIRs. This is 1,000 in this entire box. So yeah, super exciting. These will also be packed into your orders when we ship them. If you ordered the full kit, you'll get the Panasonic PIR and the millimeter wave. The millimeter wave stuff we're still waiting for. That is the final component to arrive. That should be arriving in the next couple of days. And as soon as that arrives, we can actually start shipping orders, which is gonna be super exciting. We're getting there. So. This is pretty much, we have pretty much everything. We're just waiting on the millimeter waves. And yeah, really excited to actually start shipping the orders, which should happen in just a few days in time for the holidays. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay are a one-stop shop for all of your electronic project needs, including high quality PCB printing services, CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication, and everything else you need to make your DIY projects become a reality. Check them out with the link in the video description. So you're probably wondering, how do you even begin to flash 2,500 boards in the first place? Because plugging in 2,500 boards into your laptop individually is gonna take a huge amount of time. And obviously we need to be as efficient as possible. So the solution we kind of settled on was that we get a laptop each. So we have two laptops. And we're also using these USB port hubs. So these are like a 10 port USB hub um, that you can plug loads of boards into. Uh, and then we also have these USB-C cables. They were kindly provided by Ugreen. Shout out Ugreen. So yeah, we basically get these USB hubs. So that's 10 on this side, 10 on that side. And that means we can do 20 boards at a time. What we're basically doing is we've plugged in all of these boards in here and you'll see that there is four lights on the top. So we basically got these testing boards made up from PCBWay who also made the EP1 boards. Shout out PCBWay. 
So yeah, we made a custom design to basically test every output of the EP1, because the last thing we want is to send out a board that's dead on arrival, or one of the functions doesn't work, or one of the sensors doesn't work. So basically we got these boards made up that will test all of the functions of the EP1. So it tests all of the GPI open, so all of these headers, as well as it checks physically that it can actually get a reading from the light sensor as well as the temperature sensor and that those readings are actually sensible values for the actual board itself. So as you can see, I've plugged in all 10 of my boards or nine of my boards. And basically this testing board just kind of clips on into the EP1. So you just basically grab it, plug it in and then just snap it into place. So that works really good. And then we plug it into the USB port. So I've got nine boards in, this will be the 10th one. And then what we're doing on the laptop side is I wrote a custom Python script to flash all 10 boards at the exact same time. So what it'll do is the first stage, it will load on a test firmware. So we have a firmware that's slightly different to the production firmware and that basically tests all of the outputs and the temperatures like I mentioned earlier. So it's gonna load on all of the test firmware onto these boards right now. And that process takes about 10, 15 seconds or so. And then kind of once they're done, you will see them light up like the boards that we have over here. So what's gonna happen is you'll see it lights up all of the LEDs in sequence. So you'll see it goes back and forth and then flashes the two on the left-hand side and the two on the right-hand side. So this basically tests all of the GPIO outputs are actually functioning correctly because the LED comes on. And then the flash on the left side tests that the temperature and humidity sensor is actually working. And then the test on the right-hand side makes sure that the light sensor is also functioning correctly too. You'll see if I cover over the light sensor, you'll see that we only get two flashes uh, in the middle, which indicates that the light sensor isn't getting a reading. And then if I remove it on the next cycle, it should actually flash all four again. So that's how we test all of the sensors and all of these boards. So once the testing is done, we basically grab these boards. What we're doing is we're putting on a little yellow sticker onto the very bottom. So I can see that this board is working properly. We'll just put on a little yellow sticker onto the bottom of the board. All of these other boards have already been done, so you'll see they've already got yellow stickers on them. We need to do that one, yeah. So yeah, basically just check that the outputs are all functioning, the sensors are reading correctly as they should, and this is a really fast way to actually just make sure everything is functioning properly. Then what I do is just come over, hit enter on the script, and it's gonna actually start flashing the production firmware onto the boards. So this process takes a little bit longer than the test firmware just because it's a little bit of a bigger size, but really quick to do. It flashes all of the boards in literally no time at all. So yeah, really good process, super efficient. Uh, so basically we'll just wait for the production firmware to load on. Okay, so once the production firmware has actually been flashed onto the boards, you'll see that the green LED, so there's just a single green light comes on on the board, and then we know that the production firmware has been flashed. And you'll see all of these boards have now finished. So basically what we can do is unplug the board and then remove the testing PCB ready to use on another board. Grab a jumper, so you'll notice on the boards themselves there is actually a couple of pins. We're gonna be putting on the jumpers, so the jumper allows you to change between the USB-C port or the optional five volt, five volt input for the board. So we're, we're pre-installing the jumpers onto the USB-C because that's the one that most people are going to want to use. So install the jumper and then grab our anti-static bag, chuck it in the bag and then into back into the pallet that we got from PCBWay. So now it's just a case of going and removing all of these other boards, putting them into anti-static bags, putting the jumper on and then back into the box. This way that we know we've, that we've actually flashed all of these boards because the ones that we've done have got the yellow stickers on, which means that they've passed quality control and we've actually checked them and they are functioning 100%. And also they're in the pink bags, so it's easy to see that they are actually done. Now it's just a case of actually going through and flashing the rest of the 2500.
Anyways, that is about it for this video. A little bit of a different one today. Hopefully you found it interesting of the process that we are going through to flash all 2,500 of the EP1 boards that are going out to you guys. Thank you so much for all of the incredible support. It's been absolutely insane. 2,500 boards is absolutely nuts. And there should be another pre-order coming again soon. So make sure to get notified if you want to get in on the next wave of orders. But yeah, hopefully this process was interesting. I know I definitely found it very interesting. Make sure to drop this video a like if you haven't already and get subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.